Good day, YouTubers. So, again, I would like to say thank you to Gadget Addict from YouTube, which I subscribe with. Uh, he encourages me to make more videos, more clear videos, and I'm trying hard just to make my videos clear now, so some of my viewers will comprehend and see exactly what I'm trying to show and describe on these videos. So we all know that the power companies of our uh, nation today are telling us that we have to prepare for rotational brownouts or short power outage or shortage because of the coming of this summer. So I decided to make a video of uh, what I fond of making with uh, the inv few inverters. Uh, actually they're not uh, modified or pure sine wave they're just uh, simple inverters that anyone or simple person can make with few backgrounds in electronics so here are some of the components that we are going to use so we starting from the salvaging uh, MOSFETs from uh, motherboard so here are a few okay few MOSFETs that we have okay then uh, by the way MOSFETs are also called as transistors but uh, they're more uh, um, high capable of uh, highly capable of uh, higher amperage like 60 amps or 100 amps or more so they are rated higher amperage so they can handle large large amounts of energy uh, from your battery to make inverters uh, function so this is one example of the motherboard where where I get my MOSFETs they're usually located near the CPU here this this blank space there I get those MOSFETs there I think I get six of them there this part and the others are here so they usually comes near to the CPU or the, uh, the uh, core I think uh, the, the processor there so we need a usually we need a board to fit in all the components we need but I prefer using this kind of a board which is perforated already it's a I think it's a uh, prototype board I think so you can buy this cheaper than this one but it's thicker and you can design what you want to make uh, from different circuits that you want but it's more time consuming than this one just place in the components design it neatly and you can have a circuit so one of the example of MOS uh, two I think <laughs> two examples of MOSFETs are like this one it's a TO20 package and it's a uh, it's attached to a heat sink but I think it's uh, more uh, neat and simple if we use this uh, kind of MOSFET which is smaller and it's some kind of a, a, uh, a uh, onboard uh, soldering technique which you can actually solder directly on the board uh, unlike this one that you can you have to find these uh, leads on the prep board or on the uh, prototype board then you, s you can solder it I think it's more bulky than this one so I like this one and it's higher amperage it's rated 60 ampere than this one which rated only 35 amperes so so much for that so you need a uh, an indicator lead, capacitors, 
resistors and especially the MOSFET so it's just a couple of components there so here's the uh, here's the diagram I have so here I hope you can, you can read the, those notes and uh, those uh, labels there so it's just a simple uh, inverter circuit using two MOSFETs then four resistors uh, two uh, capacitors, electrolytic capacitors, and a transformer. And bingo! You have, your, you have your power from your 12 volt battery. So any source of power like a car battery or a motorcycle battery like this one. So portable uh, battery, small battery, 7 ampere hour battery. It's just fine. A transformer, so here my transformer is set up as a test transformer. So I hooked the 220 labeled uh, connections to a female socket. So you can plug and play any any lights or any gadgets that you want to power with this transformer. Then the other side is a 12012 uh, 12, uh, winding which I connect to a bus connector so that you can easily remove so it's got some kind of a modular type you can easily remove the test circuit so you connect the lids of your test circuit here and then you remove or you replace of any type of circuits that you want to power with this transistor so it's very simple then if you want to plug it on the wall here so you have a power supply which supplies a 12 volt, 0 volt and a 12 volt here so some kind of easy stuff so I have the pre-made here like this one uh, it uses the two MOSFETs that I collected so following the following the uh, diagram so I built this one so it, it consists of all the components I mentioned capacitors the here is I'm using a yellow lead here to indicate that it's powering so let's hook up and let's try try powering this one so my test bulb is this one the 2 watt lead bulb 220 volts so it's going down here by the way I'll, I'll just connect this one uh, I'll just set aside the camera and I'll, I'll, I'll connect all the components here. So the setup is ready and we have our multimeter here. So set to 10 ampere so I can I can see what uh, the power it consumes during no load and during load. So um, this transformer by the way rated 2 amperes so it can handle around 25 to 30 watts of uh, load so here we have a 2 watt load so it's just a small fraction of the capacity it, had, it has so by the way the module the module of the, the setup of the inverter um, has been hooked up and this lead um, is the positive lead so the negative is connected here directly to the battery and the positive is connected to the other lead lead of the uh, uh, lead of the multimeter so that we can test the amperage so here without without load 
here you have no connection to the load just simply uh, wants to know the amount of energy it consumes during no load so I'll connect this to the positive so the positive uh, rail goes to this center top of the transformer so here we go just like that so it lit up and it, can, it consumes 0.5 ampere so 0.5 so 500 milliamps consumes with no, without load so we have to try it with load so let's connect it to our light so I'll just disconnect the light and hook it to this female socket okay so the light is connected to the female socket and you will notice that if I touch the positive rail it lights up so our power outage will be solved by this kind of inverter simple project which you can made the simple person with simple background on electronics just make sure that you follow the diagram the correct connections of the wirings if you want this diagram I can give it to you just leave a comment down on our um, video just ask me whatever you want and I'll let you know and I'll give you um, tips on how to make this inverter your own so here we go I'm going to touch the positive lead so you can test the lights and the loads so it lights up and the inverter is powered the lights on here we go so I'm trying to uh, here the light is just two watts so I'll just remove and power goes out and try again there you go so you can see we are directly connected to the light off okay and then on again so it consumes 0.63 so from 0.5 to 0.63 it's just a matter of 130 milliamper so the 2 watt here 2 watt uh, lead bulb 220 volts is just adding up 130 milliamps from this transformer which consumes 0.5 milliamps at uh, 0.5 amps there you go so it's clear now so with the load with a 2 watt lead bulb here up so it's it only consumes 0.64 or point lately it's 0.63 but now it, it goes up but it's just a small fraction 140 milliamps difference from 640 to 500 milliamps so there you have it so you can run this battery for about 12 hours I think so it's so let's just show computations for that for later videos okay so it's okay so remove and we have no light so I'll just connect back the the loads to the wall so I can sh there so now we tested this and it shows that it consumes only a fraction of the capacity of this battery so I'll just show you computations in the next video following this video and I hope you like it so if you like it just make a thumbs up over there below <laughs> not not that that thumbs down but below <laughs> thumbs up if you like and subscribe my channel if you want my channel and uh, you're allowed to comment any, anything you want ask me anything you want and I'll show you and I'll give you my answers so you can email me at virich underscore marketing at yahoo.com.ph so 
that's all for today and see for some videos coming videos relating this uh, renewable or some kind of alternative source of energy thank you and god bless